Hi, this is Greg from Greg's Bass Shed. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the bass line from Wish and Well by Free. This is a really great inventive bass line that's well thought out, and it uses arpeggios in a classic pentatonic riff. I've written the full bass line out note for note with Tab, and you can get that by downloading the PDF below in the description. Just click the link there, and I'll send you the PDF. Remember also, if you haven't already, to subscribe to Greg's Bass Shed here on YouTube. Um, you'll get notified of all my new lessons that I put out every Friday at midday. Tetsu Yamachi was the bass player on this song and this album in fact and he replaced Andy Fraser who was Free's bass player on and off for most of the time. I really love the inventive nature of this bass line and to me a sign of a good bass line is where everything feels right and it's the best possible bass line for that song. We'll get going with the song right away so make sure you have the PDF to help you with the lesson. So we'll start with the intro and straight away we've got this classic riff. This is constructed from an E minor pentatonic which is so it's really the descending version of the pentatonic. So if you need help with pentatonics, um, I've got a whole video on essential scales for bass. Um, I'll put the link up here now, so if you click that it should take you straight to the video so you can refresh yourself about pentatonics or learn about them if you don't know what they are. So the first few measures use this pentatonic. And then we have a G for two measures. And then we have a pattern on E and B. So this is the ninth fret of the G string for the E and the ninth fret of the D string for the B. And a slide into the verse. So we've got two whole measures of E's, just quarter notes to start the verse. And then we've got this arpeggio pattern. What that is, that's a major arpeggio. So a major arpeggio over C and then over D. So arpeggios C major arpeggio, D major arpeggio. Again, I've got a whole lesson on arpeggios and I'll put the link up here again um, so you can click on that to have a look at arpeggios if you need that. And then for the last measure, we've got these E quarter notes but an octave higher we had before. So the whole of the verse, E, 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 and then the arpeggio, C, D, E, 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 E. So that covers the whole verse. And you'll start to see a pattern here because the chorus uses a chord of C and a chord of D and then back up to the E again. But what we do, instead of the arpeggio, we play a, fit, a root, a fifth and an octave on C and then the same pattern shift up a whole step to, and then so we've got C, D, E, 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 B, E. So the same as what we were doing in the um, intro, then octave lower, eight notes lower. And then. So we get these two measures three times in the chorus and each time they get to the E there's slightly different patterns. So you can see from the PDF, um, that's got tab on it as well by the way if you need that. So the second time he just plays high E's. So the whole of the chorus, the arpeggios, E, arpeggios, E, arpeggios, C, D, E, C, D. Okay, 
So there's an uneven amount of bars. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So normally there's eight bars. So when it goes into the bridge after, there's only, so there's only seven bars here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then after the chorus, we've got this guitar riff, which is the same for us um, as the intro. But this time we just play E's quarter, quarter notes. And that's the guitar riff there. And then we go on to verse two and the second chorus, which are the same as before. And then the next time we play the guitar riff, This time it's down an A instead of down to the G, so an A for two measures. Then we've got this extended bridge section. Um, for the first eight bars, it's unclear really whether there's any bass in there or not. It might just be guitars, but if you're gonna play this live, it's quite nice to put this line in. So what that is, is F, G, A. So two beats of F. And we just carry that, repeat that four times. And then for the next bit, we are definitely in here, and this is same again as F, G, A, but a lot lower, so F, G, A, E, A, E, A, E, A, E, F, G. And then we have some more arpeggios, this time F, G. So up to now, the whole bridge has been a half bar of F, a half bar of G, and a whole bar of A. Just slightly different patterns on them. But again, look at the PDF and you'll be able to work that out. And then we've got two measures of, of C. D. F. G. A. Between the F and the G, you just play the last eighth note of the F bar, you move to G there, so a bit early, so it's like a push. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that covers the whole of the bridge. And by the time we get to the next chorus here, we've actually changed key through that bridge. So we've got the same pattern as the last chorus, but we've transposed it up a fourth, so, so it starts on F, so F, G, A, F, G, A, F, G, A, F, G. Okay, and we've got that pattern is the root fifth octave. For 
the ending, we've got the same bass line that's underneath the guitar riff and the intro. So we've got, but this time it's transposed still up a fourth like the chorus. So we've got this minor pentatonic on A this time. So we just repeat that round and round and round. Well that's the whole bass line and remember you can get the PDF by clicking the link in the description below which has the whole bass line written down on it with tab as well. If you're viewing this video through my website then click the YouTube logo in the bottom right hand side which will take you to YouTube and then you can see the description. So have a play through the PDF yourself along with the song and see how you get on with that. If you've got any questions then please leave a comment below and if you like this video then please like and share it that really helps me to spread the word of Greg's Bass Shed. You may also want to subscribe to gregsbaseshed.com or follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All this info again is in the description box below this video. I've got loads of links there, I've got some information about this video and obviously the PDF. This is Greg from Greg's Base Shed, see you in the next lesson.